Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. We are in the middle of update number 44, three new explosive weapons. Man, I want to see those things so bad. Haven't gotten to them yet, but we're going to work on it. Various tweaks and fixes. Now, we're going to be playing as Crystal this time, because Crystal is my favorite character, and it's fitting that we play as Crystal in this, the last episode of the series for now. We're going to put the series on hold for a bit, just pause it, and let the game evolve a little bit, but also, more importantly, let me evolve as a player. For 15 episodes, I've been banging myself up against the same walls, the same mechanical deficiencies, and the same issues over and over again, and there's just no reason to keep doing that. This isn't a series where I tell interesting stories about my life or tell silly jokes or whatever. It's a series where I'm attempting to grow at this game, and I'm not growing at this game. So I'm going to take some time away, try to get better as a player, and also let the game ferment a little longer. Let the game ripen a bit, if you will. I mean, we're 15 episodes into this series. That's a weekly series. So we've seen probably 10 to 12 updates, and the game has grown a lot. But I want to give it some time to uh, ripen a bit more, and we'll come back to it maybe after release, maybe before release. We'll come back to it when I feel like I have something new to share. Either the game has evolved to a point where it deserves to be shown, or I, as a player, have evolved to a point where I want to show you guys how much better I am. So let's jump in here, and let's play as Crystal. Oh, interesting spawn right away, a nice mama maggot there. And the game is messing with me already, giving me a melee weapon. Uh, I am, of course, no good at melee. But naturally, it wants to give me one. I do like the machine gun. So, you know, I'll take it. Come on. Let's focus on aiming. Focus on aiming. There we go. There we go. I eh, probably could just use that. That seems more efficient. And you know what? Probably going to kill myself with it, but it's probably better than getting killed by rats in the sewer because I have the sledgehammer, and I know a lot of people are probably absolutely peeing in their pants right now because I am leaving the sledgehammer behind, but I just can't do it. I just can't. I can't do it. All right, so we've got scarier face here and a couple of uh, sort of duds here. Most hit bullets become ammo. I do have a machine gun, so that could be good. Uh, scarier face is really nice. Patience, I did actually learn a little bit about patience. Patience is basically a reroll. Uh, you hit patience now, and at the end of the next level, you'll get a chance to pick from a new foursome of mutations. So if I didn't see something here that I wanted, I could pick patience, and that would allow me to actually put that off. As it says, mutate later. It literally does what it says. Uh, but we're going to take Scarier Face, because, you know, why not? I'd rather take the sure thing, which isn't great, than leave it up to chance and maybe get something really bad on our next mutation with patience. A slugger. I think a slugger is better than a grenade launcher. At least a slugger is not going to kill me. Now, it may lead to me killing myself through unoptimal play but it's not going to kill me just by virtue of being shot. There we go, and that'll do it. So we're moving along nicely. No real complaints about the way the game is going right now. It's not necessarily giving us a ton of great keys to our success, but it's also not necessarily damning us to failure. So that's kind of a good place to be, I guess. Just, uh, you know, need a little space here. We can make ourselves some space. Oh, nice little deflection there. Pat myself on the back. Always fun. There we go. Did away with the bandit. Feeling like things are going all right at this point. We've got ourselves a rare spawn up here, or a bee spawn, or whatever the technical name for those things are. Pain in the butt is my technical name for them, but, you know... Probably that's not the actual name if you look in the game files. Or if you ask Vlambert. Hey, maybe we should use the machine gun for these little simple guys instead of just continuously missing over and over again. And did I leave something behind? Grenade launcher. So, no, uh... 
No problem with that. Do I dare take shotgun fingers with a slugger? That could lead to some fun stuff. Boiling veins, of course, is a great one, but you know, shotgun fingers. I'm just gonna let the balls hang out, just right out of the underpants. I love the bouncing, I love the bouncing shotgun shells on the sewers. I think that they're just uh, hilarious at times. Also, uh, they are very often my savior. In that case, they damned me, but uh, I like it. I like it. Not so much with the slugger, but I like the idea of the bouncing shells. I like the idea of the uh, the zaniness that ensues with things just... Oh, I thought you were dead. You're a clever one, huh? Stop with the... Stop with the slugger. All right, so the throw is on, apparently. Uh, toxic launcher, yeah, why not? Um, maybe not, because that would involve replacing our slugger. I'm not necessarily happy. I mean, granted, I lost eight life because of the slugger uh, and poor play, but you know, I'm mostly gonna gonna blame the slugger because I'm I'm one of those people, one of those people that blames all their problems on other things, and I forget to uh, actually attribute them to the things that are within my control. All right, high-level social commentary going on here on the uh, Big Dave Nuclear Throne uh, video. All right, there we go. So we managed to escape that. The only reason that uh, really even matters is because it gives us a chance to pick up the uh, Toxic Launcher and at least contemplate what we might want to do. Have we discovered the sewer cap? Better yet, does the Toxic Launcher even actually have explosive damage? It does. Okay. I, for a moment there, I couldn't remember if it just exploded into a toxic cloud or if it actually did... Hmm. If it actually did an explosive radius. Uh, so I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing it. Oh, there it is. It's actually right there by the... Uh, hmm. That's an interesting one. I'm not... Not sure it's actually worth it to try and get to that. But since I don't actually want to keep this gun, I guess... Wow, this thing is weak. Tiny explosions. Teeny tiny explosions. Look at them, they're so cute. Alright, so we've got ourselves a double portal here. We will grab our... Oops, that is not what I meant to do. That is, that is what I meant to do right there. We'll take our slugger, because why not? Now, the question is, can we get to that? Okay, so exposing that portal turns the other portal into... Okay, good. I thought that might be the case, but I didn't want to assume. So exposing the portal actually makes uh, both... Ooh, auto shot with shotgun fingers. That was glorious. That was glorious. All right, we got our uh, we got our portal up there. That's the reason that I take shotgun fingers. That's the reason. Hey, pizza slice. All right, awesome. I forgot the pizza slice. That the uh, HP packs turned into pizza slice. All right, plutonium hunger. What do we have? Uh, yeah, energy weapons. We don't have an energy weapon. Some kills regenerate ammo. Ah, okay, plutonium hunger it is. All right, so let's just uh, flood this thing with crazy shotgun shots. Actually, let's be a little more controlled than that. I don't want to quite be, uh, quite be totally irresponsible. Yeah, no. That is fun. That is fun, though. It is really fun. That's, I mean, I mean it's, it's kind of ridiculous. It is kind of ridiculous. More shotgun shells, because we definitely need more shotgun shells. Nice, we got a full-size med pack here. Definitely take that. So things are looking up as crystal. Splinter launcher, or splinter pistol, excuse me. Uh, yeah, not not really, uh, not going to pull me away from my insane auto shotgun stupidness. Is that it? Oh, that is it. Okay, well, there you go.
All right, we have discovered ourselves a Peroto statue. Oh, that there's something really satisfying about that, I have to say. That uh, bouncing the uh, projectiles back at the sniper. Really satisfying. Wow, you took a lot of hits, buddy. That's all right. I got plenty of shotgun shells for you. And for your friend. Don't hit fire. Thank you. Oh, I almost got that bounce I wanted. It's funny because I've struggled a lot with this series at times to actually just have a good time playing this stupid game. And I'm having probably the most fun I've ever had right now as I'm playing. And it's kind of weird with this being sort of the announced last episode. And uh, I'm just having a, a freaking blast right now. A freaking blast! The irony! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Quick restart. I can't even be mad at that. I can't even be mad at that. That's payback. I have made some lame joke at some point in my life, some stupid pun, and, and that was that was the payback. That was fate's retribution for, for my hubris in my punning. Oh, goodness. Can't even be mad at that. All right, let's switch back to our pistol. Again, I'm having fun. I, I don't, you know, I've definitely had some frustrations with this game. Frustrations with my poor performance, but this is what I wanted, okay? I wanted to just, I wanted to just sit here for this last episode and just have fun. And it's, it's happening. And I'm, I'm super happy about that. I actually thought I was going to kind of make it really far and do really well. And then have a hard time justifying stopping because I'm no good. Because I actually did a great job and made it to like, you know, the palace or something. And then I die to a car explosion. Okay, so we've got a disc gun. Um, I'm not going to take disc gun when I have uh, when I have a crossbow. You know, it, again, fun. You want to have fun? Roll with a disc gun for a little while. But uh, I, I just can't do it. There we go. And a machine gun. Great. That's exactly what I would want. A machine gun and a text message. Cycle gland, lucky shot, shotgun fingers. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take boiling veins. I'm almost at 50% HP, so, you know, we're kind of creeping up into the area where it might be useful. I will definitely replace my revolver with a machine gun because I am a noted supporter of the machine gun. I'm noted in the, in the community. Supporting the machine gun. It's not, you know, it's a pretty easy choice. Supporting the machine gun. All right, there we go. Oh, hello, hello. Aren't you a naughty boy? And we finished things up. I think I'm almost to the point where I've dialed myself back in and I can kind of uh, stop chuckling at the uh, way I died in the last run. So things might actually start to get uh, get going here in a moment. Oh, hello, you snaked your way out, and I wasted like 10 bullets trying to kill you. Oh, grenade launcher. You're tempting me. This is a long level. Hello. Keeps going and going and going. So you might not have noticed, maybe you did. Stuck on the edge there. Yeah, it's my own fault. You know, it's just, it sucks that it happened, but, you know, it's just HP. There we go. Got ourselves a level or two. Yep, two. So we have eagle eyes, longer arms, and sharp teeth, damage taken to delta enemies. Uh, you know what? Let's, patience. Why not? Just, why not? And we've got stress. We've got bloodlust, and we have second stomach, second stomach all the way. All the way. Don't eat the rat meat. Okay. I think that's good advice. In the game and life in general, don't eat rat meat if you can avoid it. There we go. That's kind of what I wanted to happen when I shot that bolt blindly. You know, if I could just kill these guys with the requisite amount of bullets instead of the uh, huge amount of bullets that I tend to actually throw at them. 
Life would be pretty good. I feel like I can't really trade out the slugger. We do have a mama rat that we have to deal with here. Don't want to get killed by the babies. I like the slugger and I, I want the slugger. I just don't feel like I can quite trade in for it just yet. There we go. One life left in desperate need. Oh, desperate need of health, and there we go. I was going to say in desperate need of a health pack, but in desperate need of anything. And so now we're not going to be killed by that car if it actually uh, comes after us again. Ooh, huge explosions going off again. I am, thanks to boiling veins, more or less immune to those. So that's a big fat bonus. Oh, not immune to bullets, though. You cocky son of a bitch. And there we go. That'll do it. We are done. Killed, murdered, dead. Get back into things here. Got machine gun on the mind. I'm just holding down the button. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Because I have the revolver. All right. Grenade launcher? Sure, why not? Let's kill ourselves with that. Oop. Walking into bullets. There we go, walking into that. All right, and our machine gun is back. No, that was a shotgun. I swear that looked like a machine gun. Hmm. Machine gun on the brain, I suppose. Uh, you know what? I don't care about getting more ammo for my grenade launcher, actually. Something lives, okay. He lives. I uh, don't really feel like I can have two weapons that both use the same ammo type. So we're going to keep our shotgun, and we're going to move forward. So again... You know, this episode is not going great, but it's some of the most fun I've had playing this game ever, probably. So, uh, Plutonium Hunger, it looks really tempting, but you know what? It's a fun run. Guess what? Gamma Guts, all the way. Just gonna have some fun with it. Because, you know, why not? Of course, some enemies I can't walk into, because they will do unspeakable things to me. But when I can walk into them, why not have a little fun? You know. I want that ammo! So the machine gun comes with us. Can't complain about that. Always nice to have a machine gun. Uh, ho 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 and all that stuff. Popular movie reference. All right. Okie dokie, alright. Nice clear out there, cannot complain about that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, say hello to this guy right here with... Oh, choice grenades. There you go, have some more, have another. Nearly killed myself there, it's sort of par for the course right now. Crossbow. Slugger again. Is that going to do it? That's going to do it. Uh, the crossbow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hang on to the machine, or to the, uh, excuse me, to the uh, grenade launcher, if for no other reason than to, uh, yeah, to get into the uh, secret uh, sewer base of the uh, turtles. Definitely not a good reason to do that, and of course, you know, bolt marrow. So the game says, hey, you're an idiot, and I say, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, impact wrists. I really like impact wrists, so impact wrists. And a shotgun plus impact wrists, I think, uh, probably is going to lead to me being a little overconfident about my chances here in the sewers. So far, not so much. But it is definitely coming. Give it time. Give it time. Oh, how did I not? Come on now. All right, let's see where that mother rat is. She's around here somewhere. There she is. Hello, mother rats. All of the children dead. All right, I definitely do need some ammo. Guys just killing themselves, totally intimidated. They see this walking crystalline structure coming at them. 
they just kill themselves? I think I probably would too. Just a badass walking crystal. Yeah. I'd probably just eat a shotgun too. And we are off. Here we go. Let's have a little fun. Oh, where are my Teenage Mutant Ninja Pals? There they are. Hi guys, how you doing? All right, make sure we get everything that we deserve here. Auto shotgun, uh, yes please. I'll take it. We're off the rails at this point, folks. Just totally off the rails. All right, so uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a great one. Our shells are bouncing further. Our bodies are bouncing. What more can you ask for, really? Wow. That is a uh, flame salamander rave going on there. I mean, it seems like fun. I, I don't necessarily uh, share their taste in music, but, you know, a party is a party after all. Wow, lots of XP going on there. Whoop. Hey, fire. How you doing? Oops, that's not the actual weapon that I... Whoop. Oh, so close. Really, it was just genuinely close on that one. Uh, splinter pistol, you know, sounds like a good time. All right. Okay, there we go. Hey, I see you. I see you peeking. All right. Just flooding this area. And it's a crow rave. Wow, this is just uh, like a nightclub district here. And that was ridiculous. Just flat out ridiculous. Took some damage in there somewhere, it seemed. But uh, oh well, whatever. And yeah, let's just go for scarier phase because why not? Because why not? A little HP. That'll help out. Okie dokie. Alrighty, I need health, and there it is. Ask and you shall receive, apparently. And what do we have down here? I say, what do we need ammo for? Yeah, we need shotgun ammo, so let's grab that for sure. And uh, yeah, we're gonna trade in. Uh, yeah, we're gonna trade in our grenade launcher for an auto crossbow. That seems like a good thing to do. So here we go. So I don't want to use up all of my bullets. Okay, there we go. Come here, you need to die. Oh, darn. So, yeah, th that was... Obviously, at some point, I just threw that run away for just silliness. But, yeah, it was great. It was a fun game. It's probably the most fun that I've had with this game and almost making me reconsider the idea of shelving it. But I'm going to go have this kind of fun off-camera, loosen up, get a little bit better at the game and come back and give you guys something that I think you deserve, which is a better player showcasing this great game in a more complete form. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time... Take it easy.